It's day 112, it's the end of week 16, and it's a Sunday weigh-in. Welcome back to my big fat vlog. Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. Uh, thank you so much for joining me once more. There was no midweek check-in this week because I had my COVID jab on Tuesday and I was absolutely dead to the world on Wednesday. Um, for anyone's reference, um, I had the uh, AstraZeneca jab and it felt like somebody was giving me a dead arm on the hour, every hour, um, all of Wednesday and Tuesday night. And on Wednesday, I just felt terrible. Didn't, didn't feel well at all. Not the worst I've ever felt, but I couldn't really get on with anything. It's kind of like day two of a nasty cold. So um, I just hung the day up, sat it, didn't do any training, went to bed, started again on Tuesday, Thursday even. Um, so training this week has been really good, despite the missing day on Wednesday. Um, I've been concentrating on two different kind of Two, two different ideas. One of them is adding smaller exercises after the big exercises that I currently do. So after I'm doing my bench, um, I'm then swapping straight away to doing a set of banded crossovers. So I'm working different parts of my chest um, or my chest is all the same muscles, but in different directions, uh, which is an interesting thing, something I've not tried before. Um, and the other idea that I've been playing with is to try and slow down my exercises with lighter weights and then speed them up with heavier weights. So having kind of like a real slow kind of movement through say side lateral raises um, with the lightweight until you know pretty much to failure. And then um, on a you know a different time doing doing larger kind of explosive moves with bigger weights. That's been really interesting because I feel like I'm working muscles that I've I've not worked before almost. You know, it's it's a complete revelation. So that's been very interesting. Um, diet wise, uh, it's, the food's, food's been great this week. Um, we've started to track protein a little bit more and think a bit more about increasing the amount of protein. Uh, I'm sure that the people who've watched this that know about this kind of stuff will, um, will understand the principles of this. Um, but it's something that I've been a little bit reticent to track because the diet that we've been on, that Ash has really put together, has been more focused on volume of, of good food. And I think part of the problem, Ash said this, and it's a really, really valid point, is that people go from eating high volumes of terrible food to low volumes of good food. So they'll eat a tiny salad or a little bit of fish or something. And um, our kind of aim has been to eat larger volumes of good food. So lots of veggies, you know, um, lots of pulses and just kind of go for high fiber, low fat, um, keeping the calories in the range that we're interested in and not really tracking the macros particularly, not worrying too much about the uh, about the protein content. So now, the uh, for me anyway, the, Ash is kind of staying with the diet the way that she was. I'm leaning more into getting back into upping my protein numbers. I've been given a couple of programs over the years, so I've got an idea what personal trainers have wanted my range to be in. And I've done a little bit of homework myself and it seems, and this could be completely wrong, so I'll pinch of salt time, but it sort of seems that there's a, an idea of keeping my calories at a certain amount so that I'm not in a caloric deficit from my food, keeping my protein to a certain amount so that muscle growth is stimulated, but also, or, or not stimulated, but um, possible. And then essentially being in a caloric deficit with my workouts so that the, the, the cardio and the weight training that I do stimulates the muscle growth, but also puts me in a caloric deficit by a bit so that there's fat loss and muscle gain. That I, th that I think in my sort of cigarette book maths appears to be what people have been trying to get me to do in the past. Um, if that's completely wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. You're more than welcome. Uh, but that's that's kind of like what, what we're aiming for. So I know what my calories kind of need to be. I've upped them a little bit. Um, I've allowed myself a little bit of extra space in there. Um, the protein's gone up, so it's kind of like working in sort of a, a bit more low fat yogurt. Um, we've got some, we found some half fat cheese. It's got a really good um, sort of ratio of protein in it, which is which is nice. Uh, and like protein shakes and the obvious kind of stuff. So getting some of that going on. Um, so I'm keen to see how that's gonna play out over the next couple of weeks. Um, but uh, so far it's really good. I'm enjoying the food. Uh, I'm eating a lot, um, which I'm always a fan of, you know, that's always cool. So um, the bike training this week, I've been 
I've been focusing more on the weights. I've still been doing the bike every day, apart from Wednesday, big day off. Uh, wanted to go for a ride on Saturday. The weather was tragic, so I just left that. And instead, um, last night I did an hour 45 on the bike. I made myself a program with three sets of sprints that got increasingly harder, but shorter. Um, so I was sort of pushing myself there and kept myself at kind of a higher rate through most of the ride. And it's probably the most tired I've been getting off the turbo trainer so far. So that totally worked. Very pleased with that. Um, and yeah, it's all good. I'm, I'm really enjoying the turbo trainer, enjoying the riding. It's really good fun. Um, the other thing that kind of happened this week was I I was watching um, some YouTube videos as a guy called Francis Cade, who's a, who does lots of bike videos. And I was watching a lot of people and I'm watching guys outside the house, like, you know, going into the into the tunnels and uh, there's some railway tunnels opposite the house and there's like a trail and stuff. I keep seeing all these guys on mountain bikes and I was sat there thinking, oh, I, want, I wish I had a mountain bike. And then I remembered that I have got a mountain bike. It's just I converted it into a road bike years ago and it's been hanging from the ceiling in the dining room ever since. So I kind of got it down and it was all, it's all, all dusty and, and neglected. I've not used it for ages. I've not used it really since I got my road bike, which is a good few years ago. Um, and I used the converted mountain bike for my first triathlon, but I haven't really used it since then. It's just kind of sat up there. So I... Um, it had um, a, a regular seat stem on it. It had skinny tires. Um, it it was just mud guards and just just set up for being a road bike essentially. So I thought, can I convert this back into my old mountain bike? You know, can I can I get something that I can take out over the summer and go up the quarry and just you know play out with the boys kind of thing? So I uh, yeah, I spent a couple of hours over the weekend. I pulled the old forks off, um, which were sort of white carbon forks, and I put on the old Rockshock suspension forks that came with it. Strangely enough, there's a little seat, a cap that goes on the on the forks with the kind of headset that I've got, and um, I didn't have a tool to fit it. And the dude on YouTube was like, "Oh, you can use a pipe." It just so happens that a speaker cab pipe uh the the pole that connects the sub the sub base unit to the top fits perfectly over the top smack it on jobs are good so yeah i fit those um i fit the adjustable seat tube so it's like a, a drop tube so you know you can have it set high for when you're riding to where you're doing the off-road stuff press the button seat goes down and then you're ready to do some off-road stuff so I fitted that put the old tires back on got some mini tubes from leisure lakes today just finished it off today and uh, they're like Leisure Lakes and Berry are doing uh, specialised tubes for three for a tenner, which I think is pretty good value, being as the seven quid each usually. Um, so I got some of that, got some chain lube, and yeah, just kind of cleaned it up, took it for a spin. Um, it probably, it wants riding in, um, but it's still got the original tyres on, you know? It's like they were just sat in the, in, in the corner. They've been in the cellar for ages, so just kind of clean them up a bit, put them back on. Um, I'm going to give it some riding and see how it goes, but that's... That's wicked cool. I've now sort of gained a mountain bike, which I kind of forgot I had. It also means I've got some bike bits to stick on uh, on Facebook and get sold. I bought some new SPD pedals for it as well. 15 quid off Facebook, clipping pedals, job done. So um, weigh in time. Um, dead easy maths this week. Weigh in, weigh, same as last week. Absolutely the same. But there's more to discuss about this. This is because I'm genuinely interested in what's gone on this last month. Um, when I started this thing back in January, I've got my notes here and everything, I was 233 pounds. That's 16 stone, nine pounds, okay? In, in old English money, right? And now I am 15 stone three, which is 213 pounds. That's a 20 pound loss, okay? Now in that 20 pound loss, I started off uh, with a 44 inch chest. And as of last month, it was 42 inch. And now it's 41 and a half. Now my waist was 44, uh, 46 and a half at the beginning, 44 last month, that's down to 43. So I've only lost a pound from last month. Last month, this time I was 214 pounds, now I'm 213, that's one pound down in a month. But in that month, my body has changed more than a pound's worth. And that's a super interesting thing because I am old school and cling to the numbers on the scales, but I'm seeing some real differences in the shape of my body. And that's worth more to me. It's much more important. I tried on my gig jeans uh, this week, and that was very interesting um, because my regular size gig jeans fit better than they ever have, and my skinny ones, which aren't super skinny but they're quite tight, I don't I don't know if I'll ever get back in them because my legs I think have grown because of the of the squats and because of the weight training this year. So I might never see the kind of 
skinny fat leg jeans that I had before, they might be gone forever, which is fine, you know, if that's where we're heading. But um, in myself, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling nice and kind of uh, nice and kind of wide. Um, in my shoulders, I'm feeling, you know, I'm feel, feeling slimmer in my hips. When I notice myself in kind of reflections in, in you know, shop windows when I'm walking past or in the mirror and stuff, it's like there's less gut, so that's really good. Um, and I'm, you know, I, I, I'm really happy with that as a, as a notion. The other thing that I've been doing is I, every four weeks I take progress pictures and um, there's a massive difference. Like it, it, even in the last month, even though there's only one pound different, I can see a big difference in the progress pictures. So that's the job. Same weight, no movement there, unfortunately, but I'm not that bothered. I'm, if I carry on kind of changing shape, looking better, feeling better, and the weight stays the same, that'll do for me. Anyway, that's it. It's been a bit of a long one. Thanks a million for joining me. Um, if you would like to come along for the ride, there's going to be a little subscribe button here. There's more videos for you to check out here. And if you'd like to give it a little, uh, a little thumbs up and ring the bell for when the next video is on, that'd be awesome. Have a good one. Thanks a million for joining me. See you on the next one. Mm -hmm.